Hi guys and welcome back to another Asphalt 9 video where I will be giving you three lessons that you really need to know in order to progress faster and better on Asphalt 9 Legends. With nothing else to add, let's get into them because you really need to know about them. The first thing I would recommend to you guys to do is to stay tuned to the official Asphalt 9 channels and also to the community because from time to time Gameloft release special links that if you redeem them you can get a, a few tokens, some credits and some special packs from time to time that contain blueprints that will be extremely helpful in order to unlock certain cards. So, these links can only be claimed by a limited amount of people, like for example 100, 1000 people and no more. So if you want to be the first one to claim these links and don't, and to not to miss the chance to get these free rewards, I strongly recommend to stay tuned to the community because the fastest that you notice these links, the higher will be the chance for you to actually get the rewards. Because once everyone had already claimed their rewards, these links do, do not work anymore. Also, in a few days, I will try to make a tokens giveaway on this channel, so you better subscribe and turn on all the notifications in order to not to miss uh, any chance to get a few tokens. I think will be a really nice amount of tokens, so you better watch out. The second lesson is a bit more focused into those who are beginning on Asphalt Line Legends, because once that you begin on Asphalt Line Legends, you start getting your first blueprints and that stuff from career, and uh, that's honestly quite nice, but if you want to progress faster, you should really try to play time-limited events daily, on a daily basis. Why? Because there are a few cards that you can obtain that way, specific, specifically the BLF Force, the Resbani Beast X, the Lamborghini Egoista, among others, and that card will be extremely helpful for multiplayer in order to progress faster on career and unlock more cards. So yeah, uh, now also career is a bit more difficult since Gameloft uh, increased the requirements for some uh, career episodes. So I will strongly recommend you guys to start getting blueprints from time limited events and special events if possible as soon as you can, so you can uh, progress faster and obtain more useful cards uh, this way. Also, I think that time limited events are more rewarding uh, in terms of credits and token rewards than career in the long term. So you should also check out most of the daily events available on your account in order to get the maximum amount of tokens available for you at that time. You know, and I was thinking about uh, which should be the third lesson. Maybe how to earn tokens on this game? No, because I already made a video that you can check on the description. How to get cars faster? I already made a video about that quite recently, which you can also check on the description. Uh, I consider adding the clubs as the third lesson, but at the end you only need to join an active and supported club that do the clash and that stuff, so it's not like a really, really big thing to make a lesson about. So I decided that the best lesson I could give you as the third one is the most important, that is spend wisely. For example, if we refer about uh, real money, don't spend your real money on the multiplayer pass, for example, because the multiplayer rewards with the multiplayer pass are not as different as, for example, the time limited events pass, which I already made a video about it too. And in my honest opinion, it's way more helpful. If you would like to spend a bit of your money, you know, because it's a hobby or something like that, spend on the legends pass and then, for example, on useful things like the time limited events pass, some cheap and worth uh, token offers that from time to time appear and that stuff. But don't overspend because at the end, it's just a game you should only spend if you first, if you can afford it. And second, if you think it's worth it for your game progression, because at the end, uh, there are some offers that are not worth it at all. And also there are really, really nice offers from time to time. So you should check it out. Also, you should uh, spend your resources wisely because if, for example, you spend all your tokens on a useless car, as I did with the Pagani Wera Air, where I spent 15,000 tokens, which took me a lot of time to get. Uh, and at the end, the Pagani Wera Air turned out to be a quite mediocre car. So I kind of waste my tokens there. And pretty much the same goes to the Glickenhaus 004C, where I spent 12,000 tokens and at the end I didn't use it as much as I thought I would. So uh, I would strongly recommend you to check the new cards performance once they arrive into the game from the official channels. 
and that channels will tell you if a car is worth it to go for or not. I know that that pretty much sends us back to the first lesson where I told you guys to stay tuned to the community, but honestly, on this game, if you pay attention to the community, you will end up making the best decisions for your game progress and you will enjoy it a way more than if you don't pay attention to the community because that's where all the tips or the best routes all the best ways to save up tokens and resources rely on so i that's why it's basically one of the most important important lessons i will tell to anyone not only for the rewards links but because overall if you want to find out how useful a car is uh, you have to check an official test drive where the creator will tell you if it's worth to spend your tokens on or not. With nothing else to add, I really hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know your uh, recommendations in the comment section and I will see you really soon with much more Asphalt 9.